With the general election just around the corner, many New Zealanders will look to their faith when it comes time to cast a vote. However, one of the country's leading theologians is warning Kiwis to be wary of the messages their churches are giving them. Professor and Reverend Lloyd Gehring claims many religions are more conservative now than they were a hundred years ago. The traditional churches are still trying to hold on to uh, what they see, see as very basic values, but, but values which I believe in many ways are now outdated. He believes it's those outdated values that have led to the rise of modern fundamentalist religions like Destiny Church. He claims the controversial church has evolved in much the same way as Islamic terrorists. But the Destiny Church, in my view, is a very dangerous phenomenon in society. One of the big dangers in the world today, we would all recognise, is terrorism. And what does terrorism arise out of? Fundamentalism. Earlier in the year, the country's Catholic bishops urged their parishioners to take note of how their local MPs voted on the civil union bill and to remember it on election day. Gearing says that's a classic example of why Kiwis should be wary of the messages they're receiving from religious leaders. Well, that's a very limited and narrow way of judging what politics is all about. After all, th those are only one or two particular issues in a whole bundle of issues that people have to, have to decide their, elect their elections on. He believes religion and politics don't have to always be opposed. Gehring says many green issues promoted by environmentalists uphold the basic Christian message. Environmentalism and, and all the ecological issues are now making, as it were, greater and greater demands upon us. We must respond to those or we, we endanger the future of the human species as well as life on earth. He's not against church leaders expressing their views, but encourages people to consider the messages they're getting from a variety of sources when making up their mind at the ballot box. Dominic George, 9 Local News.